Now, all too frequently, COVID news is all doom and gloom. But today, early data suggests that a booster aimed at tackling lots of variants is showing promising signs. First results suggest that the jab is capable of inducing what experts describe as a comprehensive immune response. Well, joining us now is the study's chief investigator, Professor Andrew Utianowski, who's now also honorary clinical chairman at the University of Manchester. Thanks for your time on Sky News this morning. What a breakthrough this is. Could we be doing away then with the continued boosters for various emerging variants and just have this one-size-fits-all jab? Well, it is early data. It is very promising. Um, the hope is that this will work against some of these new variants that are coming through. It works a little bit differently from our traditional vaccines we're using for COVID, targeting other areas of the virus and targeting other arms of the immune system. So the hope is absolutely that this vaccine or similar vaccines will be uh, able to be given and will give immunity against a whole variety of different strains. Just tell us a bit more about your study. What has it been involving? Who are the people that you've been testing, working with? Well, this particular study is being performed in Manchester with Manchester University and Manchester University NHS Trust. Um, the data we're talking about today is on the first 10 patients recruited to a study. Um, they are over 60 and individuals that were initially vaccinated with the AstraZeneca vaccine and had this new vaccine as a booster. So what you're saying then, obviously, this is more of a booster. So if somebody hasn't, for example, had a COVID um, jab previously, then this isn't something that will be beneficial to them, is it? You have to, as you mentioned, there, have a jab previously. Well, that may not be the case. We are also looking at uh, people who have not been vaccinated before in other countries uh, with this as their primary vaccine, as the first vaccines they get. In the UK setting, obviously, most of our population have had vaccines already. And so the key thing is, how does this work as a booster? And what are the advantages of using it as a booster compared to the traditional vaccines? And so what are the, um, yes, so that is the question. And what are the advantages then of using this as a booster as, a, as compared to, as you say, the traditional vaccines? Well, all the vaccines we have so far target just one part of the virus called the spike protein, the bit that's on the surface of the virus. This particular vaccine actually targets several other bits of the virus, and those bits of the virus don't generally change with new variants. So as new variants develop, they really are changes in the spike protein. Because we have immune responses against other parts of the virus in people who have been boosted with this vaccine, the hope is that actually their immunity will cover new variants that develop. Is there a particular age group that you, this will be more beneficial to, a younger age group or perhaps an older um, age group set? Well, we're initially looking at the older age group who tend to get less good response to vaccines. We're particularly looking at encouraging responses, not just about antibodies, but what's called the T-cell responses. And these can wane in the elderly. And that's why the study that we're talking about today has particularly recruited people over the age of 60. Well, I think we're obviously all getting very excited when we hear news like this. Can you give us some sort of idea as to how and when this will be um, coming into fruition? When could we be seeing this being rolled out? Well, we're expanding this particular study um, to 120 individuals and we hope to progress subsequently to what's called the later stage studies or later phase studies during 2022. We will get the results this year. Um, quite how quickly it gets rolled out depends on the results, but also regulators and other bodies. Um, throughout this whole pro programme, we're strongly supported by the National Institute of Health Research and the Clinical Research Network. So we're optimistic we can recruit well but we've got to wait for the data. And what has the response been then from the pharmaceutical companies who, of course, are working on a jab to combat the emerging variants that we get? Well, this is one particular way of trying to combat new variants. There are other ways being looked at by other companies. Um, to be honest, a lot of the data is looking promising. I don't know what at the end is going to be most revealing and most useful for our population. I think the early data on this particular booster is very exciting, so I'm optimistic. Absolutely. Well, we will grasp onto that optimism. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very uh, much. Professor Andrew Yutinovsky, thank you. Thank you. It was understood a local authority-backed energy supplier with 170,000 customers